right and left end behavior models. BBMs, end behavior models, all right? Um, here's how we know something is a right end behavior model. Um, actually, we should talk about um, No, we'll get there. Here's the definition of a right end behavior model. If we take the limit as x approaches positive infinity, okay, so as x approaches infinity, as x gets large in the positive direction, that way, okay, um, of f of g of x, or f of x over g of x, if that equals 1, then we have a right end behavior model, okay? To find a left end behavior model, we take the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x over g of x. And that has to be 1. Okay? So a right end behavior model means an, a, mo a function which models the given function to the right, we're not worried about the left hand side of the function. And the left end behavior model is a function that models the given function to the left. In other words, in the direction of negative infinity. Okay, so some functions have behavior that can be characterized quite well to the right by one function and to the left by another function. Okay, so can I add an example of where that happens? So what I'd like you to do now is, when we do this example, have the graph in front of you. So um, we'll let f of x equal x plus e to the negative x. Okay? If that is true, then we want to figure out what the right end behavior model is. And I'm going to hypothesize that based on looking at the graph, which you should have in front of you, based on looking at the graph, I think that the end behavior model is going to be x, y equals x, because it looks like sort of a straight line going off to the right. Okay, So let's verify that. We take the limit as x approaches positive infinity. Quite often we won't put the plus there, but um, just to make it explicit that um, that's what we're checking, we'll put positive infinity there. We'll take x plus e to the negative x divided by x. Right. Now, I'm emphasizing this. I'm making a whole video about verifying these things, or mostly about that, because you will have to do this. It's not, you will, you'll be asked to find a right end behavior model. That'll be part of the question on the quiz and the test and stuff. But also, you'll have to verify it. You'll have to prove that it is, in fact, an end behavior model using the definition that I just gave you um, here, both right and to the left. Okay. So, let's check x. Algebraic manipulation on the right. Break this into two fractions. I get x, x over x, limit of x approaches infinity of x over x, plus e to the negative x over x. This here is going to be 1, plus, and then I'm going to rewrite this. e to the negative x can be rewritten as 1 divided by x times e to the positive x. Okay, so e to the negative x is the same as 1 over e to the x. So we can write that in the denominator. Now, I evaluate the limit. Plug in infinity or large numbers of x, and you can see I'm going to get 1 divided by huge numbers, which is 0. So I'm going to end up with 1 plus 0, which is just equal to 1. So therefore, g of x equals x is a right and behavior Now we're going to go check and see what the left end behavior model is. And maybe we should pause here just for a second and think about how did I know to pick x? That seems to come up every year. I knew because quite often the end behavior model will be a part of the function that you're given. right? If you're given e plus e to the negative x, it'd be really weird if sine of x ended up modeling the end of the function, the end of the graph of the function. Right? So it's probably going to be a part of the function. So I always start with looking at the function which pieces of it might model the end, right? 
when I look at the graph, I notice that to the right, it looks fairly linear. It kind of looks like the line y equals x. And so I hypothesize. I think, well, maybe it's x, and I'll check. So then you check to verify it, and it turns out that it is, and you're done. Okay? If we had gotten something else here, maybe we got negative 1 or a half or something, then we've done something wrong, either in our work or we picked the wrong end behavior model. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go check and find the left end behavior model. Again, we're looking at the function to figure out what that might be. We've already used x. We know that it's not going to be x, or it's probably not going to be x. All right, let's check to use the negative x. So go to the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus e to the negative x divided by e to the negative x. I'm going to break this into two fractions. So I have x over e to the negative x plus e to the negative x over e to the negative x. And I forgot to write the limit notation. Limit as x approaches infinity. Sorry for the poor penmanship. Okay, let's deal with the thing on the right. That's clearly 1. And I'm going to leave x over e to the negative x alone. So I have this limit as x approaches infinity of x over e to the negative x plus 1. By the way, this should be negative infinity. Good job, Creswell. All of those should be negative infinity because we're checking to the left. You probably already caught that. My apologies. All right, so we're looking at the limit as x approaches negative infinity. That's going to be really important now. So 1, when I go to evaluate the limit, is clearly going to go to 1. There's no question about that. Here, though, what is this going to go to? Well, on top we have um, large numbers in the negative direction. Numbers like negative 100, negative 1,000, negative a million. Okay. Here, I have an exponential, but it's like, it's like 1 over e to the x. So, so let's think about this. We're plugging in negative numbers here. So I will have e raised to the negative negative numbers. So e to the negative times negative 1,000. That's positive 1,000. e to the negative, negative 1 million. Well, that's e to the positive 1 million. And so what I'm going to have is a linear function that is growing at a decent rate in the negative direction. But it's going to be completely dominated by this um, exponential function. Okay, So this is going to end up going to 0. And it's going to end up being limit as Therefore, g of x equals e to the negative x is an or is a left left end behavior model. Okay. All right, and that's pretty much it for end behavior models. Just to reiterate, you will have to prove that a function is an end behavior model, both left, right, and in general. So you want to make sure that you. Um, get some good practice on that, and that you totally understand what's going on here. As usual, let me know if you have questions in class, and that's it for end behavior models, and that's it for section two as well, limits involving infinity.